Welcome everybody, the last show of the year, it's the 2nd of December and for the last show we do something special, you can already see it around me, we are not at Lucht Experience Center, we are actually in Catalonia, where uh, the guests of uh, Carlos Fontanillas in his flower shop, his brand new flower shop, and he's going to present seven or eight different designs for us uh, today so i'm very excited he prepared some beautiful things it's a great designer as well so uh, i think it's uh, time to uh, get him into the live stream and while he's making uh, the beautiful designs we're also going to tell a little bit and show you around in the shop as well so let's uh, quickly get uh, get him in let's get carlos in and there he is hello hi john how are you carlos Hello, I'm fine. Here, preparing Christmas. Hi, I can see it around you. You got the Christmas trees and all the Christmas decorations uh, around you. So it's beautiful. So, uh, yeah, I think it's good uh, to start. And then before we start, I would like to ask uh, everybody who's watching where they're from and uh, to say hello. We already got uh, Kirsten van Dijk in who's saying uh, hola, senores. So even Kirsten is uh, in, in Spanish today. <laughs> so that's hola, great. Hola. So, what have you prepared for us, Carlos? Today we have, yeah, about eight designs. The idea is to create uh, floral compositions, hand tied bouquets, all with uh, lovely flowers, fresh flowers, but we will add a little of Christmas details. Yeah, it's the season, so I think that it's something that can be useful for all the year, but just adding a couple of details about Christmas, the balls, accessories, we can transform and adapt for the designs that we need now in December. Okay, wow, great. And can you tell me, uh, what's the, the, the base, what's the structure made of? Yeah, here in the first one, we have just paper, okay? So we have a metallic plate, yeah? We have a oasis form, yeah, the posi pad. And then we have a texture, the idea is to create a texture with a different paper, the malus, and then the flowers. So we are working with the colors and textures of the design. So I show you that this, yes? We have wax paper, like this. Yeah. So the idea, you have to brush a little bit. And then just without the, with a pin like this. You can create the texture that you need. Then you just need to fix the perform, and you can create the texture all round. Yeah. At the end, we have fixed with a little of parni. Yeah. So it's like a paint, so it makes the paper stronger, and you don't have problems with the water. That's the most important. Wow, that's really cool. So the idea now is that we begin to work with the fresh flowers, we have some gerberas, we have the, some chrysanthemums, the roses, the green roses, lovely. Look, you can see. And then we have uh, the Veronica and the Iperi. Yeah. Some accessories at the end, so you will see how it works. Yeah. The green rose is a very special one. It's from Alexandra Farms. It's called uh, Princess Midori. It's one of the, the princess garden roses uh, they have. I also see some beautiful gerbera from Holstein gerbera. I think you're using two varieties, actually. Yeah, we have uh, the spiders. Yeah, the big ones and the small, the mini. Yeah. And uh, the one you're using now, or the, the one previously, there was the, the, the Harmony. And if I'm not mistaken, let me see where I can find the other one. Uh, the other one is... Oh, I need to check all my... Uh, that's honey. It's called honey. It's a new one as well. We are lucky that we can work with all the new varieties of flowers. So in this case, it's the gerberas. Yeah. So we've got uh, Mel Harris in as well. She's saying hello from Cork in Ireland. Uh, Angela Trifiro Buen Pomeriggio. I hope I pronounce it right. <laughs> We've got uh, Ellison in. 
Hi, wow. gentlemen, big hawks, Carlos. Uh, Yubani Fontanillas. And kisses as well for you, uh, Carlos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, Morgan in, probably, or the whole team, saying, oh, that's stunning. Hi, everyone. Sends lots of love. Kees de Lau is in. Oh, there it is. Uh, Groetes, John. Hope to see you uh, soon again at Beyond. Uh, Morgan is saying, love those gerberas. Hello from Oscar in the UK. Uh, Manja is in as well. Hello from Venlo, the Netherlands. I met Manja on the, the exhibition in Holland, actually. So we, uh, we took a picture together. Uh, Sam is in saying, hi from Warwick, UK. So we got uh, people in... Uh, from all over the world already, uh, Carlos. Thank you, John. That's very interesting. Yeah. Uh, Farida Kalim is saying, hi, Carlos. Good to see you. Pleasure. Yeah. We've got uh, Monique in from Antwerpen, Belgium. It's uh, one of our uh, big fans as well. Oh, and uh, they keep on coming. Uh, hi, Shaila. Don't wait from South Africa. We've got South Africa in as well. Probably it's warmer in South Africa than it is here uh, now uh, at the moment. Hendra is also in from South Africa. So uh, hello to South Africa. So Carlos, while you're making uh, the design, I would uh, yesterday evening I shot a little video of your shop. So maybe uh, while showing the video, you can tell a little bit more about your shop. Okay, perfect. So we start from the outside. Nice outside presentation. And, and yeah, it's, it's not warm here, but it, it's still good enough to have all the plants outside. And can you tell me a little bit about the wooden bricks that are outside with the eyes? I don't um, think you know what I mean, but I will show it in the camera <laughs> it's a nice history yeah? this we find all over the place yeah <laughs> tell me what is it this is called the tio yeah it's a catalan tradition so 24 of december yeah all the kids begins to uh, sing a song yeah, and begin to crash, we say, yeah, a little bit, and then they get the present. So it's like a memorial, normally in a lot of countries, but here in the Bologna, we use the Tio. Typical uh, tradition that is very fun for the kids. It looks really nice. <laughs> Sally Hardy is in saying hello, you magical people from Berkshire, UK, as well. Hi, nice joining uh, Sally. And let's continue the video. So it's not your normal flower shop because it's a flower shop and a patisserie in one. So you can have a coffee, you can get great chocolate and other cakes. And you can sit around all nice places, really nicely decorated, plants everywhere. Christmas baubles, of course, at the moment. And when did you open the shop, uh, Carlos, this shop? This shop, well, the, the, the family business, it's more than 100 years, yeah? But this shop we began, we changed a little bit. So we adapted the companies, the, the, the pastisserie and the floristry together at the beginning of September. So it's only three months that we began with that. What is the most important is that we share the customers from one to the other. And that is the special ambient always in the shop because people can sit down, take breakfast, take the take the a coffee, or that. And then we hope that they buy some flowers. This is the idea that we have at the end. Yeah. And can you already notice that you get more customers in because of this concept? Yes, of course. Yeah, that's the, the main idea. You know, sometimes Flower shop in Spain, the most difficult is to get the people in the shop to buy or to watch what you have. So the idea is that uh, with this sharing business, we get more people every day. Yeah, that's the, uh, the main reason at the end. And it's a special 
I, I live in a town, it's not a big city, it's a town, so it's a special uh, space in this town nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and now it starts singing. Hopefully it stops soon. John, I am nearly ready with this one. Yeah, so I'm going to take some details here. I'm doing two jobs. Only two? I think more. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have job code money. So I have to do this myself. Yeah, the idea is to create a very sweet design. Just with the Christmas detail of the balls and the stars, we can make a ribbon also if we like. And the most important is to connect the structure with the marbles, uh, all the fruits and the flowers. Yeah, a very soft and a harmony color. I like the because Yeah, special, eh? It's lovely. Yeah, it's the spray one. Yeah, it's a very small flowers, but completely spray and interesting. Beautiful. Great, Great for you. Thank you very much. Oh. Today I'm running a bit because I have to do, uh, like I said, I have to do two jobs in one, but uh, it's, it's more than worth it. I can see the designs up close. Uh, when uh, you want to see more of the designs or more detailed designs, please follow us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and YouTube. Now we show more of the designs as well. And after the show, we'll make pictures of all the designs. And if you register on the website flowercircus.nl, we will send you the lookbook. So you don't only get a picture of the design, also some detail of the, uh, details of the work of uh, Carlos, because this is really, really special what he's making. So if you go to flowercircus.nl, just register there for this event. And then uh, by, I think it's Wednesday, you will get the lookbook uh, by email sent to you. And now it's, uh, yeah, we go from one special thing to another. It's uh, full of surprises. And uh, yesterday I was watching how Carlos was making the frame of this. And I think this is one of uh, the many talents that uh, Carlos has. But making a frame so with less product, you can make a bigger bouquet. So uh, tell us, Carlos, how do you do it? So the, the technique is very easy, but I think that at the end is the most important. So here we have a, approximately 100 roses, uh, lovely roses from Alexandra, lovely varieties, all of them. I'm sorry, but you cannot smell, but they are really nice. And we have created a structure just inside, but it's very easy. We just need the black wires, black stuff wire, and we just need to bend. John, do you want me to show in the... No, I, I'm already, uh, I'm, I'm just switching, turning on the camera, so uh, I've got a good view of uh, what's happening. Well, Farida has a question about the previous uh, design. She's asking, what's the texture on the outside of the circle? There was paper, uh, Farida. So it just was uh, paper, and with clips, it was attached to the floral foam. Is the wax paper that we use in the shop to wrap the plants. So then it can resist the water as well that's in the floral foam. Yeah. Okay. Sandy Even is in as well. Hello from Scarborough, UK. Uh, thank you for joining, Sandy. And as you can see, this is quite an easy structure to make. So it's just lit like this. We need more quantity to make it bigger. But what is going to, to make that is going to fix the stems and the flowers where we want. So we just need to bend the wires. We don't need to, to tie them or fix them together, nothing. Just create the small bending wires together and fix with the floral tape. And then you begin to put the flowers in the stems. I mean, this is a great solution. I think every florist knows when they're struggling with a bouquet and they just don't get the flower in the right space. And now with this frame, you can just bend it in, in the right direction. So I just show a little bit the bouquet, how it is on the sides. So, yeah. Oh, one second. Yes. 
Yep, there you are. I just switched off the wrong camera. <laughs> so it's a round bouquet. Yeah, the proportion is that is one one, very high and wide. So the most important is to fix the flowers here uh, at the bottom also. And there is the most important is the depth. You have a lot of roses inside. Outside there is no greens. There is only roses and the structure that we have used before. Yeah. We have some white roses that turn a little bit ahead, so we can use at the bottom of the bouquet and the combination of all of them. So we are just put a little of natural raffia to to tie it, to fix it, to make it a little nicer. I will show the depth as well because there, I mean, there's so much happening in the bouquet because there are roses in the middle of the bouquet and roses sticking out and all of them that's the nice thing they, they have their own stand so it's it's a festival of scents and also spray roses you can already see them opening up a little bit look at all the special colors and because of it it is black wire you almost can't see it you only can see it if you go from the bottom but from the top is not possible nearly so we think the glass And like in the composition, as we will do a little bit more uh, details with the charisma and also some vitamin. I need to show it again because the camera wasn't working. I mean, that's what you, what you get. You have to do the work with two Jones. <laughs> now it should work. So I'm fixing now the, the balls, the Christmas balls, just between the stems. Also, the stars, that goes with a, a metal wire, so it's very thin, and we can push between the stems if we have a good spiral technique. Huh? Why is the spiral technique so important? Well, I think I'd say for so many different things. First of all, uh, you can damage the stems. So the flowers can be longer and the customer is more happy, is happier. And also because when you have them together in the same direction, um, it takes smaller space. So uh, when you do a big hand tie, it's not necessary or with the both hands, just with one hand you can handle. And then it's easy when you are nearly finished, you can fix more flowers inside, or you can take, you can move so many different options. And what I notice is that if you have a, a big bouquet or a bouquet with, with the spiral technique, it looks much bigger. Yeah, also you can open, of course, yeah. the spiral will help you to open the flowers and make it more uh, horizontal. So now we are putting just the Veronica's between the, the structure and inside the glass, so they are not tied in the, in the bouquet, just like a composition. And we can mix both techniques at the same time. So we are using the structure to fix the flowers where we want. It's beautiful. And again, a spray, Veronica, from Florius. Florius actually has something new. The, you can order the flowers in a box, which saves a lot of space, of course. So that, that's a good thing. But they pack them in, uh, or they wrap them in paper as well, just to save the environment, not to uh, repack them. Here you can see an example with the Veronicas and the Hypericums that they have. 
And uh, the fun fact of the uh, the paper is that uh, the fibers are used from the Veronicas and from the Hypericum in to make the paper. So actually, there's there's Hypericum in the Hypericum paper or the Veronica paper. So I think that's that's a real cool thing and and good for the environment, of course, as well. So if you are interested in it, just uh, ask for it from your supplier and then the florist will pack it at the source directly like this, just to save a lot of plastic sleeves. So, Jean, in this one, I'm fixing the Veronica only in the bottom, just round the roses a little bit. One can go inside just to keep and uh, showing the, the depth of the design, all the movement of all the roses that are completely inside, the medium height and at the top. So we can see all the rhythms and all the, the levels of the flowers that at the end is the most important. Wow. It, it is really beautiful. Uh, Brenda Joyce is joining as well, saying greetings from Dublin. Uh, thank you for joining, uh, Brenda. Hope you like it. I think Probably everybody will like this design because so many garden roses in one bouquet and then adding the beautiful Veronica's. Uh, it's not only pretty to see, if you can only uh, yeah, have the, the, the scent as well here, it's fantastic. So we can see also some details yeah, with the Christmas, the stars, and uh, the balls a little bit inside yeah also we repeat that like in the same in the first design the shape of the round yeah round shape we repeat so many different times with the, so many different varieties of flowers that at the end we keep a round shape and uh, this is a stronger to make a feeling in the design yeah so shape is also a really important thing when when designing. It's not only the color, shape is also very important. If I look around in your shop, you have different corners in the shop and they all have a different color as well, but they all have a Christmas theme. I think that's really nice. So it doesn't always have to be red. No, today nothing is red. <laughs> only one design, eh? Oh, I am very oh, sweet now, eh? With yeah. uh, things. All the pinkish colors and uh, the soft colors but i think that every year we need to create like a new trends or new ideas yeah to 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 involve our customers to the products that we prepare for them all the uh, the centerpieces all the details for the doors that is something that we used to do in the, in the shop yeah i think it's good uh, if you have a flower shop to surprise the people uh, time and time again because if it's the same every year, the same decoration, people get bored. I mean, if, if you eat a hamburger every day, I don't think you like hamburgers uh, the, uh, after a week anymore. So change it. That's right. We go for the third one, John. Okay, great. Then I will uh, answer the question that pops up here. Uh, so uh, Hendra is asking, where's the mad header today with the jokes? Uh, Hendra, we're in Spain at the moment, and, and John is afraid to fly, so uh, that's why he uh, didn't uh, come to Spain. Uh, now we're here at uh, the flower shop of uh, Carlos, the beautiful flower shop, and uh, that's why I decided to do this one uh, on my own. Uh, if everybody misses John, please put it in the comments, and then uh, who knows, maybe next time I'll bring him here, so then he comes as well. But for now, uh, I think it's nice and quiet. Although I have to run sometimes just to show you some of the details, but uh, that's why John isn't here uh, today. Uh, C. Cohen is in as well. Hello from Jacksonville, uh, Florida. Uh, thank you for joining. And we're already up to the to the next one. And I can see already uh, some beautiful flowers there. Again, a spray, a spray Veronica. Uh, some beautiful uh, roses again. And the micro uh, The micro yeah. Farid is saying, wow, lovely plant material, Carlos. Sorry, Jean. Ver she says, wow, lovely plant material. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. The base is really beautiful. I will turn on the camera and then 
I will show you uh, the details of the values. Yeah, in this case, we have a, a vase. Great. Uh, you will see that, well, some people that knows me maybe knows me more about the structures, work a lot with the uh, metal frames and work with the uh, big trunks and all this. So this time we will work more with the textures and colors, more decorative design, also formal lineal designs. And in this case, we have the texture of the Tilancia leaves, yeah, the Xerographica, so we can create a different and round movements with all these uh, lovely leaves. There is also uh, only uh, wet floor foam inside. Yeah, we have cut, so it's not very high. And then we have a staple, the leaves of Tilancia together, but between five, six, ten leaves. And then we have fixed with just the pearls. Okay. And how many Tilancia plants did you use? No, maybe two or three here. Okay. Yeah, I would say. So now we have the vase. Now we repeat the shape, the round shape, yeah, of the marrows, of the roses, of the hydrangea. So we'll create the different rhythm with the flowers and the different flowers, the different variety. The design will be very low, but we'll create a lot of that design. The rose. Called Juliet, and when it opens up, it is a fantastic rose. It's already a different rose, but when it opens up more, it's really nice. Oh, now somebody starts singing. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a picture of Juliet so I can show you the detailed. Yep, there it is. Here you can see how it looks from the inside. It's funny because the beginning is very pink, but it becomes more yellow or peach color. Right? Yeah, it's almost like the peony. Yeah. The coral charm. Uh, Farida knows her roses. She's saying beautiful uh, David Austin Julia. <laughs> She's also saying you sacrificed uh, a big Talancia, but I think I'm it's, sorry, it's yeah. for good for good use. <laughs> uh, Caroline Marshall Forster is in as well. Hola, that is fabulous. Loving them, non red looks. Uh, such a joy to see. For the people who haven't seen or listened to it yet, I made a podcast with uh, Caroline. Uh, together we were talking about the Dutch. Uh, trade shows which were going on and what we what we saw what was special and of course we talked about a lot of other things as well so check it out on your podcast player uh, flower circus london scaling uh, the first uh, reactions were very positive uh, caroline so i think we need to uh, to do a second episode and if people have a suggestion for an episode uh, please leave it in the comments Uh, Anya is in as well and saying, interesting to see different kind of bouquets. Uh, Kalia is saying, super. And I think it already helps so much if you work with good product as a florist. It, it, it saves you money. Sometimes the, the products are a little bit more expensive. But because the quality is so good, you have no waste, almost no waste. Uh, the flowers are heavier bigger flowers, more flowers on the stem, in the end it will save you money. And we're also using the Lysiantus from Luft Lysiantus. Like I said, this time not at Luft Lysiantus, but we have the beautiful Lysiantus anyway, because we love to work with them. It's nice the texture that they have, John. Yeah. In this design, we begin to mix a lot of textures together, and the Lysiantus give us uh, a detail of different textures from other flowers. Because the previous arrangement was all with round shapes, but now you're working with all kinds of shapes. 
completely. And we have a lot of lines with the Tillandsia crossing that makes a little more quiet, more calm in the design. Yeah? yeah. So we have some nervous textures and some calm designs, calm textures between. Some beautiful Hypericum as well. It's quite easy to recognize uh, the Hypericum from uh, Florius flowers because all the variety names start with cocoa. And they have a lot of colors. Well, we used only, we were used to only the red ones and the autumn colors, but we've got whites, greens and, and pinks as well. Let me quickly show you some of those varieties. Of course, the red ones, but what about this pink one, the Coco Kimono, which we're using now, Coco Casino, Coco Bamboo, we're going to use a little bit later, uh, Gelato and Avanti. So you got even have the white ones as well. And so before sure. Carlos takes this design away, I will quickly. Yeah. Um so now finishing. I think you will walk a lot there today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so just adding the, the Christmas details. I think that it's necessary to fill all the design with the stars and balls. Just maybe a ribbon if it's necessary, or some Christmas detail, not necessary in red also. It can be in other colors. And then we just finish this composition. Today is not only about the designs, I mean, the Christmas designs. No. Or this color. You just get the idea. I think the Christmas is a little bit of excuse. Yeah. yeah but we have floral design, floral composition, table centerpiece, and then we can transform it with Christmas. It's the same that we have done in the in the shop. Yeah, we have some dry designs. We have uh, some silk flowers composition, and we have have just simply adding uh, some Christmas accessories. And then we can also sell now during this month. The show is all the designs, beautiful Christmas trees. You show everything. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not uh, showing the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, yeah. But yeah, it's very interesting. But then everybody's interested in the chocolate. <laughs> okay. So I go for the next one. Yeah. I've got some really nice reactions. Uh, George, uh, gorgeous, Carlos. Fabulous, Sally Hardy is saying. Uh, Kalia is saying, I love it. It's Christmas again. Sandy Evans is saying, Evans, sorry. Sandy Evans is saying, beautiful. So we really got some uh, some great designs in. Uh, uh, Mary is saying stunning for people not wanting traditional flowers. And she has a great profile picture with a big bear there. <laughs> Carlos, you have your flower shop, but you also have another big project that you're running. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yes, of course. Um, well, the shop is for the general public, that's the, the, the main idea, but then we have another project that is for the professional or the, the people that is very interesting in floristry or with flowers and plants. So the name is Flos, Flos, F-L-O-O-S. So it's a website that we began seven years ago and we explain a step by step how to make designs like this. More technical designs but not uh, too much decorative, we could say. We are more focused about the techniques and materials and how to work with them. So nowadays we have more than 700 designs published and you can see the step-by-step -step how to make them with uh, photos and videos. We are a group of more than 30 floral designers around the world. So it's that's the, the most interesting for me because there is a lot of different cultures together in the same project. And the nice thing is, if you uh, 
go to this link after the show, of course, uh, flues.org, and then try flues. You can try it out for 48 hours. So you can see some of the designs and, and see how great it is and to have so many different designers making different styles because I think that's what it's all about, to learn from each other as well as a, as a florist. Let's already take a closer look to the technique that uh, Carlos used here while he's uh, putting uh, the flowers on the table. Oh, we got the really green Lysianthus. And still we had some uh, leftovers from the previous design, so we're, we're, we're not losing anything of the Talans, yeah? <laughs> we are Catalan John, and we like to keep everything and try to reuse again, eh? Yeah. So... <laughs> you're, you're almost like the Dutch. You're not throwing away <laughs> anything. <laughs> so first, maybe explain how to make the structure. Yeah. Yes, please. Here we can show a little bit the beginning of the structure, so the technique of the spider with the black wires, yeah? And then we have fixed with the paper cover wires, all of them. Also, we have done a tatami with the pine hoops. We have fixed them with the aluminum wire, the thinnest one, and 0.3. So two leaves of the pine hoops, and then we have fixed all of them together. So this is how we can create all the, the shape round. This is completely another feeling or another kind of design. The other are very decorative. This one is, uh, I would say, very natural at the end. So we have the structure that we have fixed in the, in the glass. And then we just need to fill the, the ball. Yeah? So we just need to fix the flowers between all the holes that we have. So first we begin with some leaves of the tea land. Hendra's already happy what she sees with the flowers, which are uh, already on the table. Love the color combination on the table, she says. So you're using a lot of black wire, but where do you buy it, Carlos? Well, we buy from Holland at the end. The same uh, suppliers that provides us the flowers and plants. Also, we can get some accessories. Uh, and black wire is uh, like a a common material that we use, like oasis. Not yeah. in, the day, in the daily work of the flower shop, of course. But if we want to create something different, the, the black wire helps a lot. Yeah. And what's the reason you use the black wire? And other, I mean, there's also the green ones. Uh, it's, it bends different. OK. Yeah? Um, I don't know the in English, but we say the wire uh, crack. French, I think, is crackly. Yeah. Crackly. So when you bend, you create angles. Yeah. And when you bend the the green wire, yeah, it it is curved. Yeah. yeah okay. So the, this is why we use the, the black wire and not the the green wire. The chrysanthemum that uh, Carlos is using at the moment is called uh, Couture. It's a nice thing, it has a, a bicolor effect because uh, both sides of the, the flower have a different color and it really creates depth in your designs. And it's not the only chrysanthemum he is using. He's also using uh, Rosano, Rosano Charlotte. I think it's... Uh, one of the favorite chrysanthemums from uh, of flowers or florists all over the world, actually, because I see it more and more now, and uh, not uh, without a reason, because it's a really beautiful, also two-tone variety with uh, the light pink and the green edges. At the end, John, all the flowers that I'm using today is the flowers that we normally use in our flower shop. All these varieties of chrysanthemum, of gerberas, 
Veronica, maybe not, not so often. Uh, but now that I know and see how it works, probably it comes with the, the daily order, the, the weekly order that we, we do. I think especially the, the for us, for me. Yeah. I think especially the, the spray Veronicas, they really uh, make more volume in a bouquet as well. Yeah. At the end, you know, the Veronica, the, the one that we used to, to work, it's very long. So it depends on the design. It can be useful or not. But uh, this one that is a spray and it's more round for this kind of shape, it's more interesting. Talking about the interesting, the Smeagol. It's a gerbera, people. It almost doesn't look like a gerbera, the, the, the flower. But it's a fantastic flower. It's so special. It even won a prize last year uh, from the, the, the Dutch flower auction. Every year organizes uh, a prize or a contest for the, the best introduction of that year, the best flower introduction, also plant introduction. And Smeagol won the prize for best floral in, flower introduction in 2021 or 2022 because it's in december january when uh, they announce uh, the prize and it's from uh, holstein flowers and holstein flowers have a, they're not only a grower actually they're also a breeder so they have their own varieties and and Smeagol is one of them but there are so many different varieties and different shapes uh, hendra is also saying wow great gerbras uh, just have a look at the, the website of Holstein. It's in the comments now. Uh, and there you can see the whole uh, assortment. Because it's, they of course have the, the, the Gerberas, Germinis, Ger Special, Ger Pasta, Ger Micro, Ger Spider, Ger Pony. So there are so many different shapes nowadays as well. Not only colors, but also shapes. Uh, Carice is saying uh, those are really long pine needles. Yeah, that they, they are. It's only grown here in the in the region. <laughs> so we have had some some Christmas details. So we can create the, the depth between the flowers and create the movement between all of them. And now we are working the the green Lucianthus. Yeah. So, as you have seen, I have not used any kind of foliage, yeah, at, no. the, at the moment. All of them is just flowers and, and accessories. Here we can see the pine needles. They're really almost 20 centimeters. Pine needles. So pine I didn't needles. remember the, the name before. And again, you're playing with heights as well. Yeah, well, I think that the most difficult when we're teaching and, and showing in the, in, the, in the schools or in the demonstrations, uh, the most difficult for the students is to create the depth. To do a design like this and with the same level with the flowers can be easy, but to create the movement with the gerbera in the bottom and the crescent demum a little higher, Gerbera inside, and then the lavandula. So it creates the spaces between the flowers and creates the movement. And the tilantia give us the, the rhythm and the green connection with the pine needles. It's unbelievable how just a few centimeters yeah. make a lot of difference with the heights. That, that, that's the most difficulty, maybe. That's the difficulty in this design, but I think that it's also the most interesting. So you got your flower shop here now for three months, but you're already in the floral industry for a long, long time because it's a family business, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, my grandmother began, so the shop has more than 100 years. My mom continues in the shop, but you could uh, talk to her today, yeah, John, and yeah. me too, here. We continue. So 100 years, it has changed a lot. Before, at the beginning, it was... Uh, a shop that sells everything, fruit, 
uh, food, and my my grandfather delivered um, oil, potatoes in all the region. So, and my mom transformed the the shop in a flower shop. Okay. So, uh, John, for uh, for the different uh, thing, he's here. As we can see, he's saying uh, hi, guys. I think he's probably on the couch with a gin and tonic watching us how we struggle to uh, to do this show today without him <laughs> we've got uh, garrett in as well and saying a love how softness of colors uh love how softness of color but tons of texture it really is and there's so many different textures in there and and yeah just if you looked at the gerbera all the textures only in one flower already over there. That's make it really special. We go for the next one, John? Yeah, yeah. let's go for the next one. Like I said in the beginning of the, the, the show, if you want to see more of the bouquets, just follow us on social media and then we will post the bouquets the coming period, just before Christmas time. Uh, while I was here, I also visited uh, the flower markets, so uh, soon there will be a video available as well, how the flower market here uh, looks like. And I can tell you there were a lot of poncetias here, but it was so great to see. And the poncetias, but also the eucalyptus, there was a smell of eucalyptus all over the market. And I think with this design, you also have to explain a little bit how you made the frame, because this looks very, very difficult to make, but I've seen how you did it, and it isn't as difficult as it looks like. So we have to choose between 12 and 14 black wires. So a pair number at the end. Yeah. Again, two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. How do you decide how many uh, do you need? Yeah, between twelve and sixteen. It depends the size that you want to create the structure. You can decide how decide how many do you need. So you just need to fix a little bit with the floral tape. Just to create the, the handle. We fix with the paper covered wire. So that's where you have the point where you connect it. Yes. And now just open two by two. Go together. At the end, the important is that you need to fix them from the beginning. So then, then, then you just put the, the finger between and you just end the wire and fix them turn the wires. One here. You can create more or less the same shape, so it's not at the beginning. Um, I can come in. I think I have a picture as well, so I can show it to the people. Oh. So it's just continuing what you are doing with the same shape and the same uh, distance between the holes. Yeah. So now we have we have what we say the the flower. I don't know if you can see from here. Yeah. And then we just fix one petal with the other. One and two. One. Okay. James Roberts is saying love the close-ups. So uh, John, hope you're paying attention how it should be done. <laughs> but I think especially with these techniques, it is good to have a close-up and to see how this works because very important to uh, to show 
So at yeah. the end, the structure is done and you just needed one, two minutes maybe to create it. And you can create a different hand tight bouquet with just this metal structure. Because at the end, the structure will fix the paper that we are going to use, like in the table centerpiece that we created before. And we will fix the paper between the, the metal barriers. I will show the video as well that I made uh, yesterday while you were making this structure. Okay. So people can see it better because the, the, the background is a little bit better. Here you can see the flower in the middle. More or less the same shape. And just make it wider and wider. And like you... Like you have seen, it's it's quite easy to make. It, it looks difficult, but it's very easy to make. And uh, Karis is saying he makes it look so easy. So that's uh, that's years of of practice, of course, as well. But uh, if you have some 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 free time, just practice it in your shop. I haven't seen a flower shop where it's busy all the time. So I think it's really good to sometimes just try to do something new and maybe make. 10 of those frames in one go because the first one will take some time but later on you once you get the hang of it it goes easier and easier and then once you decided to make a, a bouquet with a frame you can just grab it because you already have a, a couple of them but then we had the frame but now I, sh I don't see the frame anymore because it's covered and it's covered with what yeah, the structure, the frame only helps us to fix the flowers and to fix the materials. So in this case, it fixes the, the paper first, and then it helps us to fix the flower where we want. You will see that the proportion is that the bouquet is very low, so that's the most difficult to create, uh, but the structure is going to help us. Yeah. So the structure is made out of the, the metal wire. But you put something over the metal wire. Yeah, I think that when I finish the bouquet, I help, I show how to make to make it, okay. and and we can show the details if I'll we have make, time. Eh? Yeah, I'll already show it a little bit, but I'm not going to tell what it is. We'll just keep it a little bit of a secret. I think they know. Eh? I think they know. Well, let's let's see in the comments. If somebody knows what it is. Caris for now is asking, what's the white stuff on the frame? So uh, she, has, uh, she has no idea yet, but uh, maybe somebody already knows what it is. Uh, let us know in the comments. In a different type of gerbera there, and it's a gerpony. Here it is, Rockstar. I think it's a perfect replacement uh, for a dahlia, for the ball dahlias, when they're out of season, because it looks a little bit like a ball as well. Uh, they're available in different colors. This one is called uh, Rockstar. Some bubbles in it as well. And there's a very dark uh, Lysianthus there as well. And it is just on the market from Lucht Lysianthus. It's called uh, Rosita Red. Really intense, intense dark color, as you can see. And it really brightens up the bouquet and it really blends in really well. So as you can see, it's not a bouquet that we need a lot of flowers or 100 roses like, like before, but um, we have the, the right size, so you'd say, to, to sell in the shop. And you will see that we don't, we don't need so much time to create it. We need, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to create the structure. A little more if you don't have the experience, you need more experience to make it. But it's not a difficult structure. 
like I said, if you have some time in the store, it's really good to experiment. I think it's good for two things if you have some time in the store. Three things. You can experiment a bit and you can go on your phone or on the computer and check some, uh, some inspiration from uh, flues or from flower circus. So uh, three things you can do when you're uh, a little bit bored in the store. Uh, Manja is saying, uh, is that the same paper that you used in the first arrangement? Yes, Manja, that, uh, but that's what we're going to show uh, in, a, in a minute. But it's uh, indeed the same paper. Hendra is saying, Robitaille is a match for Pantone's color of 2023. So you're, you're spot on, uh, Carlos, there. So, sorry, sorry, John. I was here concentrating okay. with the flowers. And... Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's funny to see that uh, you're a florist for so many years already, but you still fall in love with the, with the flowers every time you work with them. You, you forget everything around you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Hendra saying Rosalita is a match for Pantone's color of 2023. Oh, that's really cool. I will tell uh, the grower. Again, a great design here. Again, using rope to tie off the bouquet. I mean, uh, it's a real profession, a uh, florist, and it's uh, really art, so don't use a rubber band or what I sometimes even see, and then I start crying, is uh, scotch. Please don't do it. <laughs> you want me to show to the other camera? Uh, I will come and show it. A bit of a star shape as well. Yes, that was the, also the idea to, yeah. to create a, a little the feeling of Christmas, not only with the Christmas balls, also with the, the shape of the bag. Beautiful. So I show you a little bit how to make. We have the structure here. So we have just the, the paper. We create like a such, you know, and we just need to go around the, the metal. I'll just wrap it around. That's right. Easy is that? Easy. Easy. When you have to wrap all the paper all around the shape, just you need the to... barney at least yeah. to fix the paper correctly and then it, uh, it's fixed and all. But in my you can do the this structure with any kind of paper and also with so many different colors, so at the end you have a lot of variety. <laughs> Oh, uh, you can change the design completely, just changing the color or changing the paper. This is a continuous paper, right? as you see. Yeah. So I go for the next one. Yeah, because the shop is almost opening again, so... Uh... <laughs> I need to hurry up. You need, you need to hurry up. It's... Uh... The Spanish schedule over here, so uh, the, show, the, the shop is closed from 1 o'clock until 4.30. Uh, everybody goes uh, for a nice lunch or maybe a short sleep. And uh, we, are, we are doing a show, so uh, <laughs> it fits perfectly. The funny we have a minute, John. Sorry? The design, 15 minutes. Can I... Yeah. 10 minutes. Oh, we have uh, it's now four o'clock exactly so okay so, so we, work, we work a bit faster yeah 
we talk a lot and then we have to hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> So a relatively new green uh, anthurium and a special type of green as well, Olivius. The nice thing is uh, most of the anthuriums, but also uh, Olivius, they're also available in smaller sizes. So it's not always necessary to use them in big designs because it's such a big flower. So if there, there are available uh, 20 in a box, then you have uh, yeah, the size is almost half of it. So then you can use them in smaller designs as well. And as you can see, if you massage the stem a little bit, like Carlos is doing now, you can bend them in, uh, in different ways as well. So here the idea is uh, very natural. We use the pinus with some test tubes inside so we can fix them together in a wood and we can create uh, the shape that we like. So at the end, we will create a, a very natural design with a, a, a flower like anthurium that sometimes seems impossible. But in this case, just with the colors, with the, the movement, if we curve them together a little bit, so then this is going to help to create the, the feeling that we are looking for. Really great. And just a simple idea with having the test tubes there and then covering them up so you don't see them. Like gerberas, also uh, the anthuriums have a lot of different shapes, uh, of course, color, but also different shapes. So Antura, if you go to their website, you can see a lot of those different shapes as well. And Antura is working as a breeder more and more towards varieties that can handle the cold for a, a shorter period. So during transport, it's not a problem that they get seven to nine degrees. Olivius is one of them. And another one, a new red one that they have, is called uh, Rambla, uh, has that as well. And I think the nice thing of, of Rambla is that it's not as shiny as a normal anthurium. It has a bit, it, it's a bit faded red. So it's not as, as uh, intense as it sometimes is in a, in a design. And it's called Rambla. So this design is completely different from all the others. In this case, uh, we have the Antillium, the Lysianthus, that are the main uh, flowers in this case. And we will look for a very natural feeling, just changing the idea completely of, of the others. Today. I think it's good that you're showing so many different uh, designs, different ideas as well. Because uh, now we, we have so many ideas for this Christmas and maybe also already for next year's Christmas, what we can do with the designs. And I think with uh, just a few uh, adjustments, it can be uh, an everyday design as well or for, for every day of the year playing with different colors. So we add a couple of stars, make of wood, and the others drop, but also with the same colors that we are working uh, with all the, all the flowers. Kalia beat me to it, and uh, she says, Miss Contes is great. I just wanted to uh, to mention it. I mean, it, it makes it really playful, yeah, the, the whole design. So you can see how easy it is, yeah? Only probably in less than five minutes, we have fixed all the flowers. We have yeah. created a very natural feeling, and that is what we are looking for in this case yeah beautiful so you can see we can talk and work fast as well <laughs> yeah. still have uh, two designs to go uh, a smaller design and a, a really really big design uh, for the people who are really watching probably they have already seen it uh, or if they took a close attention to what's what's going on in the in the flower shop but we also wanted to give you 
an idea of a small present, a, a small uh, uh, bouquet or arrangement. So that's the, the next arrangement. Yeah, the idea here is to create a, I don't know if it's everywhere, but here it's very common to ask for a detail of flowers, yeah? It means uh, take one, two, three flowers together, put them together and and give us a present or a gift to yeah. somebody. So in this case, it's this lovely interior. Uh, we have a little of red for Christmas, yeah? In this design. Yeah. Oh, and we already get the first orders. See you here. <laughs> So we go with a little of Ibex. We help with the reddish color of the cornus. The Ilex there as well. Uh, Joan O'Brien is saying, good to see a flower master at work. Beautiful designs, Carlos. Thank you very much. And we use a little of Talino to help with the to repeat the, the berries, the shape, the ram shape of the, the berries that makes a contrast with the uh, anturium. So at the end, we have here the stars, the red color, and we just need to fix them. So this could be a, a detail of flowers that we could sell in the shop, I think, yeah. easily. I saw in your shop you have uh, next to the till, so uh, where people pay, some small presents as well, just for a couple of euros, they can buy something. I think that's a very smart idea. And it's it's uh, with very short flowers, or what do you have now at the moment as well? I saw it, uh, maybe I'll run there and, and, and show it uh, to the people as well. So it's like the, the presentation of one and two. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we go for the last one, yeah? Yeah, and we go, we go for a, a big one. We go from the, from the smallest design to the, to the biggest design of, uh, of the day. <laughs> James Roberts is saying, love the small design for everyday use. Uh, if you love the small design, hopefully you, uh, you like the big design as well, because this one is big. I hope it fits on the table. It does, <laughs> uh, barely, but heavy one, eh? Yeah, it's uh, you're a, you're a, one strong man. <laughs> well, the idea of this design is to create a very traditional composition, but with a different idea. In this case, all of it is created the base with a chrysanthemum different varieties with the same range of color and we create the depth till the bottom. We don't have any foliage to cover the form. Uh, it's only the same flowers in the different depth that just cover and the form and create uh, the rhythm. We will work a little round, but we would say that now we finish because with the pericum is the material that can close, but we will add a couple more materials to the, to the composition. See the different varieties, couture, and etrusco. There it is. Green ones. Something important, John, is to when you do a design like this, to do two, three, four steps together of the same variety, so you create the volume. Yeah, and then you can see the, dis the differences between the different decay. Yeah. Especially when you're using also a big flower like a chrysanthemum. Right, that's right. And a big design like that. Single verb, yes. Oh, it's the thickness of the stem. Yeah, it's very thick and <laughs> long. 
well, before I finish, I would like to say thank you very much, John, to yeah. give me the opportunity yeah, to, to create this demonstration for all your followers and to work with so, so high quality flowers. Yeah. We have uh, all the that we have had and all the studios, the roses, lovely flowers and lovely quality. That's uh, something very important for the forestry. It's very important to know the flowers, so we know how they work, we know how they take care of the flowers and how they send how they send us. So that's uh, the most interesting thing. So John, thank you very much. Thank you very much to all, all the applicants. I will finish with the composition. Yeah, and, and, and thank you, Carlos, for uh, inspiring us in such an amazing way. I mean, uh, seven, eight totally different designs, so eight totally new ideas as well. I think uh, not only for me, for the people watching as well. And I would like to thank the growers and the breeders uh, that joined us today with their beautiful flowers, Holstein flowers with their gerberas, all types of gerberas. Alexandra Farms with their beautiful garden roses, Daily Floor with the chrysanthemums, Lucht with the lisianthus, and of course, uh, Florius Flowers as well with the Hypericum and the Veronicas, and uh, last but not least, Antura with their beautiful Anturium, the Green Olivius, and the Red uh, Rambla. If you haven't tried Rambla yet, uh, I think uh, I would suggest you do so because it's, it's a great, great new variety, red variety, so uh, thank you all uh, so much uh, for watching. Uh, and I get a lot of uh, comments in now as well, so I will uh, read them out as well. Well, I uh, hide my face so we can all look at the pretty uh, design that the Carlos is making. Uh, Sandy is saying, thank you, Carlos, uh, for these beautiful designs. Uh, uh, Sally is saying, wonderful demonstration, fantastic designs uh, with beautiful flowers. Thank you. Uh, Kali is saying, Merry Christmas, everyone. Best wishes for health and lots of flowers. Uh, Sally is also saying, Happy Christmas, all. Uh, Willow Forestry, awesome session. Thank you uh, very much for the inspiration. Caroline Marshall Forster, fabulous designs as always. Thank you. See you in 2023. Have an amazing Christmas. Manya saying, Thank you. So uh, I, uh, I want to wish everybody. Uh, a merry, a happy, and a great Christmas as well. I mean, it's uh, it's been a it's been a strange year this year. Uh, finally, out of COVID, but uh, we're getting there. Uh, and I hope uh, yeah, everybody has a, a fantastic 2023. We will be back with more shows, both on online as well as offline. So uh, mark the first Friday of the month uh, for the next year as well, because uh, a lot of more new shows are coming up. And we're planning already shows in uh, in the UK, in Greece, uh, in Prague as well. So a lot of new shows are coming up. And uh, hope to see you online or maybe uh, offline as well. So, Carlos, thank you so much for having us. And, thank you very much to all of you. Thanks, John. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>